Alright, it is time for TBR! Weekly TBR! Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you my TBR for the week. This is going to be for the week of June 20th to 26th. I almost memorized it. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with having a cheat sheet. I don't think there should be an expectation to memorize everything we're talking about in a video. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this upcoming week is the uh, second week of Translate-a-thon, which is hosted by Rhea, the book finch, and I am reading some things for that. I am also reading some, I have some, a buddy read and a book club read. The book club I might be starting a bit early, actually. I'm not sure. And then um, some library books because um, I'm in the last week of my current library uh, books. I have to return them. So it's going to be that push to finish. Um, and the first one actually hits most of those targets because I am reading Battle Royale by Koshen Takemi. This is translated uh, from the Japanese by Yuji Onaki. Um, and this is um, one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR, which I did a video about last week. I was really excited to do that video, especially because that's something that it's a list that's both static, but um, changes a little bit every year. So anyway, this I have had on, I added this to Goodreads the first day I joined Goodreads. So I wanted to read this apparently since February 4th, 2010. Um, but the film came out in, I think, two, when did the film come out? I think 2000. And um, that's sort of more of what I what I had heard about it. But I don't, don't think I heard about the film until 2010. So this has a sort of like situation where a bunch of high schoolers or junior high schoolers junior high school students are sort of taken to an island and it's a bit it's a battle royale like it's sort of like who's going to survive so I am not sure if I'm going to enjoy this at all I don't know if this will be like like intense edge of the seat can't wait to find out what's next or if it'll just be way too intense for me I'm not sure I'm gonna read it and find out and so I'm looking forward to trying this out wish me luck <laughs> um yeah and so uh looking forward to that I, I looking I'm actually actually I'm a little nervous about this one but I do want to know if I want to read it so that is um what I'm going to try and do and I got this one from the library um also for Translate-a-thon I'm going to read Black Sad Volume 4 Silent Hell by Juan Diaz Canales um and this is um oh, I'm trying to remember if it's translated from Spanish or French, it'll be down below. It may not be down below. I might not know until I actually read it. And actually, if I did read Black Sad 1, 2, and 3 during the last round of Translate-a-thon. This one follows, it's like a detective story, but all of the characters are animals, like humanoid-like animals, and um, like upright animals and uh, has like a noir type of feel, type of thriller. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to continuing the series. Interesting characters. It's It was a bit more, some of them had a, lot, a fair amount of like um, sociopolitical commentary that I wasn't expecting. Um, but um, if all goes well, I might actually read volume four and five. And I think that might be the whole series. And uh, that would be awesome to finish something. I have not been finishing a lot of things, but I'm only committing to four. Um, and these are on Hoopla and they are, there is a bind up for one through three but generally speaking they're they're like one issue borrows so I had a bit of a mix-up the last time I, I I read them so yeah but I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes um and there are actually that's that's not quite true because they're individual stories per issue so yeah silent hell I'm I'm sure it's uplifting and lighthearted maybe not. Um, I also have a couple of books that I am currently reading that I would love to get some pages read during Translate-a-thon. Those include Njal Saga by Anonymous. This is one of the Icelandic sagas. Uh, the Girl Who Played With Fire by Stig Larsson. If I make any progress on this, I will be happy. I really want to finish this one this year. And, uh, oh, no, we, we jumped ahead. Uh, and then uh, Les Miserables was the other one, which I forgot to bring out here, which probably won't uh, make it, but it isn't it's still in the realm of possibilities, but I think the big, of course, is going to be um, trying out Battle Royale. I think I will finish Black Sad, but um, I don't think I'm going to finish Battle Royale. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a go and see how it goes. So that, those are my picks for Translate-a-thon. Then I have some um, social reading. I'm going to be continuing to read Arusha and the Tree of Wishes by Roshani Chotsky. This is the third in the Padawan series, and I am buddy reading the th this with Izzy and Kay Kelly. And the live show is at the end of the month. I think it's the first, or sorry, the last 
Tuesday. I'll put it in the description box. Um, yeah, and I have taken to giving myself more time for Buddy Reads, so I am halfway through this already. Um, and ish, okay, like, whatever, two-fifths, close enough. Um, but that's really working for me. Giving myself more time makes it way less pressure and much more enjoyable. But we shall see once the live show actually hits, will I remember a lot of it or not? I don't know. I think that's one of the, one of the, a lot of reasons why people leave um, buddy reading to, or leave the reading to the live show. It's so that it's fresh in the mind. But to be honest, for me, when I need to have stress around reading, I start to not remember things. So I think giving myself more time is going to work. So fingers crossed that that will continue continue to feel good. And then also, <laughs> spoilered, I spoilered this one, and then also Live and Let Chai by Brie Baker. This is the first in the Seaside Cafe Mystery Series, which is for the Who Picked This Book book club. Um, this one, the live show, isn't until July 7th. So actually, I'm not sure if I need to start to read it this week or next week. I have to check my notes. But if it's not this week, then it's next week. I think I need to start reading it in June. So that would probably be this week. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try and read this one as well, or at least give it a go. Uh, it's about 250 pages. I think I worked it out to, I think I only need to read two chapters a day, five days a week over two weeks, which is a much better pace for me than what I was trying to do um, uh, earlier this year. So wish me luck. Uh, this is a cozy mystery series. I know this is a big favorite. They are reading through the entire series. So this is if this is a series that you have had on your radar and that you want to read with people, definitely check out Nicole's channel. Schedule is always in the description box of the any of the live shows has um, a Google a link to a Google document that has the live shows for the uh, rest of <laughs> forever. No, just kidding. I think it's for the rest of the year. At least it has all the dates for this series. I know that for sure. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Um, and then what else am I reading? I do have some, uh, what else do I got? Um, I have some library books. Um, my next Goosebumps to read is why I'm afraid of bees and I saved this one for last oh look I matched <laughs> my shirt matches <laughs> I didn't even notice that I just love this cover I absolutely love it it's, it's creepy it freaks me out but I love it so Gary Lutz needs a vacation from himself Bullies are constantly beating him up his only friend is his computer even his little sister doesn't like him oh no but now his dream is coming true. He's going to exchange bodies with another kid for a whole week. Wow, that is not what I'm expecting. I imagine something goes horribly wrong. It's funny, in the last two goose Goosebumps I read, I talked about how one of them had the, uh, you know, siblings not getting along with each other, which I don't love. And then uh, the last week had one where there was some bullying. So it sounds like this one has both. So that is not great. But it is, it does tend to be a theme in, in, in the books. Um, so yeah, but uh, hopefully, I don't know. I, it, I imagine his plans are going to go awry. Anyway, so I'm going to read this this week um, because it has to go back to the library. So yeah, and I also am going to be continuing some of my other library reads. The Elephant of Hollywood by Michael Caine, The Eagle of the Ninth by Rosemary Sutcliffe, and Bound by Hand by Erica Ekram. I imagine I will get these two done. I imagine I will finish these two. I imagine I will have to renew the Michael Caine book. I'm only 90 pages in and it's about 400 pages, um, which makes sense. I don't, you know, reading a 400 page nonfiction autobiography isn't something I really should have expected for myself in four weeks. But it's another one that's one of the oldest on my Goodreads TBR, as is this one. So yeah, but this one I think I can do. But it's reading two kids book at the same time isn't great. So I find I am prioritizing reading Arusha because I need to read this on uh, one deadline. I need to read this on a different deadline. So, but I don't like reading two kids adventure books at the same time. They're very different. So this is, you know, mythology and this is, um, uh, uh, historical. Um, and, uh, and this one is a bit challenging because as I mentioned, I think last week, one of the, it has a dynamic where the, it's in, uh, it's set in Roman occupied Britain. I think that's the correct way to say it. Um, and so the protagonist is Roman and he befriends a Britain, but it's a Britain he has, who 
who's been enslaved. So it's, uh, you know, a bit of a uh, dynamic, like, because that's not good. Slavery is bad. Um, and, uh, you know, and so it's hard to read about that. So, so I, I'm finding that a bit complicated. So, um, yeah, so, but it's also from, like, the 50s. I think it's from the 50s. So, 54. So, but I'm ha about halfway through, and it's finally, at halfway through, it's finally got to the point where I thought, this is the story, which I sometimes can get frustrated when it takes that long to get there. But I think that honestly is means I should... Um, like that's more from the assumptions of reading the back or this one I've seen the film so I know the story so I don't know so it's yeah it's a bit more complicated so I am sort of pairing it off like I don't like to read these at the same time so usually I only have gotten to this one this week and haven't gotten to this one this time so anyway my reading in the past week has been a bit all over and um Sometimes that happens. The other books that are on my radar are actually my romance grab and go books. So I got these six books from the library in the romance grab and go bag. So I'm hoping to do a, a vlog, a try a chapter style vlog to check these out. If I don't end up doing a vlog, I do tr hope to just um, try them all out uh, at least a little bit and to figure out sort of which ones are a good fit and that I want to read right now, which ones are ones that I would like to read at some point, and which ones aren't such a good fit. And that's all okay. I think it's uh, it's been fun to to get them, but it's now that I have to return my library books next week, um, then it's time to uh, sit down and have a look, a little a closer look at each of them. And there's at least three out of the six that I think um, I'm really, really interested in. So I'll be curious to see what makes the cut. And uh, not to, I try not to think in those terms because I'm not trying to, I don't want to like talk badly of the ones that won't be of an interest because some things just aren't an interest and that's totally fine. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm hoping to do that sometime this week. And then as I mentioned, uh, my library holds, like I can renew stuff and some of the, some of those ones specifically are uncatalogued so I can renew them multiple times um, because people can't place hold on uncatalogued books but only two of the six are uncatalogued so yeah so but I am curious to check them out see which ones are a good fit and you know because obviously I am not reading enough like series there's just not enough books here to be read I definitely need to add more I am being I am joking I'm joking. I have more than enough to read. So anyway, but I am super excited about going to the library again to get more books because obviously, clearly, I need more. Ah, it's, it's weird. I also want to like watch some movies for, for you know, because I've been spending so much time reading. So that doesn't match up very well to uh, going to the library to get new books, especially since I placed a lot of holds. <laughs> anyway, that will be uh, forthcoming um, in actually not for a while, probably I can't remember. I have a schedule, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But yeah, so for this week, it's mostly focusing on Translatathon. So this, and I also actually s still have to finish Battle Angel Alita and the Escher book. But these, I, both of these, I can finish in like. I am just, I was just really tired yesterday, and so I chose sleep, which is fine too. Um, those, but the other two I'll finish in like 10 to 15 minutes each. And then this is the, and I don't, I, I don't know if I should have tabbed it because it's a library book, not because I think I'm harming the book or anything. Um, shiny paper does though. Shiny paper, I find it does hold. So like, for example, this book, I wouldn't tab because... I find that the glue doesn't quite off, even though it's very, um, it's not very strong on the tabs. I find on shiny paper, it, it's, it, it stays, it creates, what's that called? Is that a film residue? Yeah, but for this, I think it's just more that I'm going to have to go through and take out all those tabs, because this is like, I don't, what is it, like 75 at minimum. I think it's got 90 chapters, which I like knowing when the next chapter is because I'm like, how much, like, can I get one more chapter in? So I appreciate that, but now I'm like, was that a good choice? <laughs> I find myself saying that a lot recently. Anyway, now I'm just babbling, so, but from Translatathon, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to continuing and maybe even completing Black Sad. Um, let me know, are you participating in Translatathon? Um, let me know which of these, which of these, I think I already asked, which of these would you be interested in? Um, and, uh, I, or do you think I'm the most interested in? Ah. 
I really hope I can do a vlog. I don't know if I can. It's actually a fair amount of time. Um, if I'm going to give myself like 15 to 20 minutes per book, I don't even know if I can do that all in one go. So when I put that math together, I was like, oh, that might be too hard. Of course, I could do it over two days. That would require more than one day of makeup. <laughs> okay, now I'm really babbling. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope trans. I hope you're having a good week. I hope. Let me know if you're participating in Translatathon. Um, I am looking forward to maybe get, doing a little bit better this week um, with my translated works. I did read from from stuff last week, but I just I wasn't I wasn't as present last week in terms of reading. I just needed a bit of a break. So um, and sometimes that happens. So yeah, hopefully better reading in the week ahead, and we'll see how things go. Thank you so much for watching.